Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I just wanted to give you an update that I um, actually reconfigured my 24 volt off-grid system. Um, the way I had it set up before was perfect, but there was absolutely no real way that I could uh, increase the battery capacity because of how the framing of the whole thing worked. Uh, it only fit those two 300 amp 12 volt batteries that I had. So I went ahead and disassembled the whole thing and rebuilt it all up on a shelving system. Let me go ahead and uh, show you a little clip of what my previous setup was like uh, right before I took it down. So here is what my 24 volt system looked like before I decided to switch it over to the, uh, the shelf. And here is my setup now. It is six separate shelves with all of my 24 volt equipment on each shelf, depending on uh, what the use is. So let me go through each shelf and show you exactly what it does. Okay, the first three shelves are gonna be for batteries. Right now I have my uh, two 300 amp 12 volt Chins batteries, uh, they are connected in series for a 24 volt configuration. And they also have the Victron battery balancer in between. That setup is what I had in my previous. And then I also have this 180 amp 24 volt battery that I just built. And it is a disaster of wires, as you can tell. Uh, I want to clean it all up, but I just wanted to make sure I could get things working. So it looks like a mess, but it's working just fine. I do like it because I have the BMS attached to the bottom of the shelf right here. And then also it does have a Bluetooth dongle. So I can see how this particular battery is performing compared to the entire system. And then over here, I do have another 100 amp hour 12 volt battery from XZNY. So all of those are connected in parallel. So a 324 volt, 180 24 volt and 100 amp 24 volt battery all connected in parallel and so they're all wired to these bus bars here's the positive as you can see the three conductors right here from the batteries and this conductor is going to a 150 amp fuse which goes up and then on this side i have the negative which all three conductors are connected to and then i have another wire going to my uh, Victron 500 amp shunt, and then that wire goes up. On the next level, I have uh, my AC source, my pure sine wave inverter from MX Moonfree. It's a 24 volt and it's 4,000 watts. Um, it, is, it does have an AC plug and it is actually hardwired to a box on the side over here with an actual, uh, uh, a proper with actual proper wiring uh, before I kind of just made my own wiring and I caught a little bit of flack for it but now I've got proper proper wiring going to my box it also does have a remote but I really don't need it and then I just have the uh, USB plugged into uh, this little Samsung tablet so I can actually see in real time uh, the health of my system through the, the Victron software Okay, on the next shelf is my 12 volt sources. And uh, what this is, this is a, a buck converter, so it reduces from 24 to 12 volts, and it goes into my fuse block right here. This fuse block, uh, it powers all of my uh, DC lights in my basement. Uh, it powers uh, about four USBs, and it also powers my uh, Raspberry Pi, which is the computer that runs uh, so I can actually see my Victron software on the internet. And then it also wires up uh, a little USB port right here, which is actually powering my Raspberry Pi. And then if we go to the very top shelf, this is my MPPT controllers. I have a 150 MPPT from uh, Victron and a 130. Um, I have them going into a couple of 40 amp fuses. Uh, this one's a little underfused, but I don't have enough solar to actually trip this uh, because this is a uh, thousand watts of solar and this one is right at 800 watts of solar connected to it. 
Uh, also, I have another set of uh, bus bars on the top here. The wire from the bottom bus bar goes up to this top bus bar right here. And so I have a bus bar for my inputs and also this run and this wire right here is for my uh, 4000 watt inverter. And then on the other side, I have the same thing. I have my positive bus bar for uh, inputs and again, the uh, cabling for my MX Moon free inverter. And then I also have uh, a little bit of PVC pipe going up to uh, pretty much where my fuses are so I can shut off my solar at any point. Uh, you can see there's one over here, but this is actually going to my 48 volt system. So these two right here are what are powering my 24 volt system. So there is the uh, upgraded situation that I now have for my 24 volt system. Uh, if you have any questions about it, please let me know in the comments. Um, I do have a diagram on my website. I'll go ahead and just put it right down here. Uh, it's basically the same thing as I have here. And uh, so that way you can kind of see what each piece does. I'll have to update a little bit to add the additional bus bars and change out the inverter, but you'll get the gist. I do want to say that it does look like it was a simple change, but this setup took me about 15 hours to finish. Uh, because first of all, I had to take apart my old one, which unscrewed the entire thing. So now it's just sheets of wood, uh, taking down all the old equipment. But then with this new one, I actually uh, custom cut all of my cabling uh, from my MPPTs to the bus bars, from the bus bars to the batteries. Everything is custom cut, custom crimped, proper heat shrink, all of that stuff. I wanted to make sure that it if there was anything wrong, it was because of what I did, not because of something else that I just assumed was okay. So that's why I made sure and I spent a lot of time making sure everything was properly fitted, properly measured. All of my, all of my cabling for my wires, uh, the conductors are all the same length. So that way uh, I, ha I don't have voltage drops from the positive and negative. So those are just some of the examples that I wanted to make sure that were properly fitted. So again, if you have any questions about this new setup, please leave them in the comments. Thank you so much for watching this video and have a great day. Bye-bye.